Libraries in Adobe XD empower you to build, manage, and distribute design and brand systems all directly within the XD application. I'm working on a brand kit here in the app that I want to share out with my team. When I open up the Libraries panel by clicking on the icon here in the lower left-hand corner, I can see in the Document Assets area that I've already saved out my colors, character styles, and components. Because I can place these components directly on the design canvas, it makes it really easy for me to build out a complete system of elements that look really good in relationship to one another. When I'm ready to publish up the design system, all I need to do is come here to the upper right-hand corner of the panel and click on the Publish button. Here in the Libraries Manager, I can see any library that I might have created in the past in other Creative Cloud applications. I can also see any library that might have been shared with me from another XD user. This is where I can go ahead and publish out my current selected set as a new library. To do that, I'll click on the Publish button here on the right. XD is going to remind me that it needs to save this as a cloud document before creating the cloud library. I'll go ahead and click on Continue and allow that to happen. We can go ahead and stick with the default name here. I'll just click on the Save button here on the lower right-hand corner. With Publishing Complete, I can now select which of my fellow designers that I'd like to grant access to this library. I can include a message so that they know what this is about. And I can also control whether or not they can simply view the library or edit and view the library. This gives me some nice control over the content. Down the road, if I make any changes to the library by updating colors, character styles, or components, or adding any new content, they'll be notified that the changes have been made, and they can choose whether or not they want to apply those changes to any of their active working documents. Back here in the Libraries Manager, I can select which Creative Cloud libraries I'd like to have open as I work. One nice feature is that they're persistent, so even when I select File New, the same libraries will open automatically. I'll go ahead and select Adobe Color. I also have this Bootstrap library that my colleague shared with me. I'll select that one as well, and I'll close out the window. Now if I pull down under File to New and create a new document, I can step out of the current document assets area to see the libraries that I have available. There's my Adobe Color Library, that Bootstrap Library, and the Plant Company Library that I just created. Clicking on any one of those libraries allows me to come in and explore the content. Another nice feature is the ability to actually search across all of the libraries. Let's say I type in ICO for any icons that occur there. I can change my filter to determine what types of content I'm searching for. I can organize the way that the list is displayed both sort order and whether or not it's a list or grid view. Well, that's just a quick look at the library's feature in Adobe XD. I encourage you to give it a try.